Today's vlog. Today we are doing a tech review vlog, so if you're new here, please don't forget to hit a like and subscribe. Got that the wrong way around. Anyway, today I'm looking at the 8man, the 4K, the A77. I did a review of the 8man three years ago. I bought one mostly as an action cam, mostly because this is £40, and the camera I normally use for vlogging that I'm talking to you on now is a Canon 60D. Uh, my camera I normally use for taking photographs and some more high-end footage is the 5D Mark IV. We're talking quite some quite seriously expensive kit. However, when I'm vlogging, the vast majority of cameras when I'm not in the studio, is I use my Canon G7X. This is my workhorse. This is the camera that gets used an awful lot. It gets dropped occasionally. This one hasn't been dropped yet because it's new because the reason I don't have my old 8man is all my cameras got stolen um, in November and I didn't claim on the insurance for a £40 uh, eight-man camera. So I haven't had one since then, but it's great to get one back. And I'm basically looking at First of all, can I vlog, as I asked uh, the question three years ago with the eight-man camera? Uh, and secondly, kind of how does this stack up versus this? Now, this is a lot more expensive. This is nearly 600 pounds. This is 40 quid. I'm going to do it up against, as well, an iPhone 10. I'm not going to use the iPhone 11 Pro Max as a review against it because, well, the camera on this is just so insanely good. And there's pointless comparing an 11,000 pound smartphone to a 40 pound camera. So we've got the eight man, the Canon G7X and the iPhone 10. I'm primarily interested in how close to this is the eight man to let me leave this at home because look at the size difference here. It's tiny. It's really, really, really small. Um, so I'm interested to know what it does. I didn't go for a GoPro because you know, 300 pounds for a camera. I've already got a 500 pound camera. I'm not doing action shots. I'm a saxophone player. I'm a musician. So this is kind of a bit of fun, really. So first off, first test, let's do a time lapse. shots mostly to get some cat food hopefully I've just about got enough battery on the 8-man uh, but this is the 8-man and this is the iPhone 10 positives about this eight-man camera is it comes with loads and loads of different adapters different connections for different things so I managed to put this together with the case the camera's currently on charge so I can get it onto my bike I'm not gonna take the G7X out on the bike ride I'm just gonna take the eight-man um, but you at least see what it's like inside the case
Sort of my final impressions of this eight man camera after, well, just about six, seven hours of using it a day of kind of going through a normal day's vlogging with it. It's a very, very good camera. It is a massive, huge, ginormous upgrade on the previous eight man camera I had. However, I do have a few little peeves with it. The navigation is a pain in the arse. Um, you've really got to, um, You've got to read the manual initially it's not sort of intuitive how it all works but once you get the hang of it with the okay button holding things down for two seconds moving things around i realize and i'm just so used to touch screens now it's not a touch screen it's a bit of a pain not having a touch screen um the resolution's not amazing you can see in some of the comparisons we did before kind of it's no it's kind of a lot um the colour is a lot more brilliant than what you get on the iphone which is a lot flatter uh, and the g7x that said this G7X is nearly 600 pounds. This is 40 quid, maybe $50 is it for you in the States, whatever the kind of exchange rate is. Um, and as you saw when I was in the supermarket, this is really, really easy. It's really subtle, nobody really notices it. It's great for kind of, co well, not covert filming, but certainly filming, you don't want people to make a lot of attention. This certainly screams a lot of attention. People kind of see it, don't necessarily like it compared to the DSLR, though this is still great. This is amazing. Um, and I feel far more comfortable throwing this in the kids paddling pool than I do a thousand pound iPhone 10. I feel far more comfortable with it sticking it under the shower. It's only 40 pounds. It's reliable. It seems pretty good. Likewise on the bike. Um, it's a lot better in the cradle than it was. Obviously the audio quality is terrible in the cradle. You get that on any, um, any camera, any action cam, the audio quality is not great. But for 40 pounds, this is an incredible camera. If you need a camera like I'm going to use this for, like I like my eight months for doing underwater filming, kind of lobbing it in the bag, thinking, oh, oh, it doesn't matter. It's a rugged, you know, stick it in the cradle. There's loads of little attachments. I've never invested in a GoPro. Maybe I should at one point um, take the plunge and go for the GoPro, but I don't really use this a huge amount. Maybe if I start using this more and more and more, I might take the plunge and invest in a GoPro. But for 40 pounds, this is an incredibly good camera and Aitman have really, really in the last three years improved this camera a huge amount. So I would I definitely recommend it. I wouldn't say it's as good as the other cameras. I would say if, I wouldn't use it as a primary vlogging camera. Uh, I wouldn't use it for anything like that. But in terms of for action shots, underwater shots, lobbing it somewhere, not being worried about it too much. Um, it obviously, it's tiny. You can sort of use it in tighter spaces. So that's all we've got time for today. Check out my previous tech reviews in this playlist here. If you haven't already, please hit a like and subscribe. If you're one of my normal vlog watchers, we're back to a normal vlog uh, on Tuesday. Cheese is a very special day, so if you can figure out what it is. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, uh, I'll see you really, really soon. If you haven't already, check out the live vlog. We did the live stream, the live gig. And uh, don't forget, check out Patreon and Cambridge Saxophone for four free lessons. See you soon. Bye-bye.